spring break along Central Florida beaches. And police say partiers kept them pretty busy this year. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on this Monday at noon. I'm Bridget Ellison. Daytona Beach police say they made hundreds of arrests during spring break. They focused on underage drinking this year. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman tells us how most of those minors were caught. With a big crowd of spring breakers this year, police say they had no choice but to crack down on fake IDs and underage drinking. Their presence, you can see here, getting results and netting hundreds of arrests. If you come down here and you behave yourself, you're great. But if you're not old enough to drink, don't drink. Why put yourself and your career, your future, at risk to act like an idiot? Police Chief Mike Chitwood delivering a message to future Daytona Beach spring breakers. With a boost in crowds this year, police teamed up with alcoholic beverage and tobacco agents to seize more than 400 fake IDs. The bouncers primarily came up with the bulk of these. And then knowing that ABT was out there, would flag them and say, hey, look, you need to take a look at this. It certainly is fictitious because we don't have um, that kind of seal on our driver's license. A keen eye spotting the forgeries, some with misplaced or missing security features, others were duplicates in case one was confiscated. Police noting the importance of preventing underage drinking. Because if you're taking their licenses away from them early enough in the game, you're preventing them from going out and getting alcohol, which prevents a lot of alcohol-fueled violence. Chidwood says while attendance was up this year, there was a dip in violence, especially when it comes to battery and sexual assault. Looking forward to next spring break, the chief says this year's operation lays the groundwork of managing and protecting the influx of college students. You don't check yourself your common sense at the door and think, you know, hey, for three weeks I could just tear the city apart and then we're going to leave. It's not going to happen. In Daytona Beach, Mark Lehman, News 6.